own base. Therefore, they want to form as many bonds as possible. That is why sulfite SO3 2 minus SO3 2 minus sulfur has a lone pair. If you lo look at it carefully, sulfite sulfur is in plus 4 oxidation state and sulfur has a lone pair. Therefore, most of the reaction sulfite wants to become sulfate by losing two more electrons. We just study that sulfite acts as a reducing agent and the reason lies in groups. The reason lies in inorganic chemistry. Sulfite is a reducing agent. It loses electrons that you do in a uh, while balancing reactions SO3 2 minus becomes SO4 2 minus and uh, the change in oxidation state is plus 4 to plus 6 plus 2. Why? Why does it? Why? Why does sulphate want to become sulphate? That reason lies uh, in because of the effect of lone pairs. So, how can a molecule which has got its octet combine with another molecule with or without octet? Why are molecules combining? A at a lower level, you have studied that atoms combine to get octet. That is over. Now you are into your plus two level. Now you have to study reactions of. Uh, carbonyl compounds, aldehydes and ketones, reactions of alcohols, you have to study reactions of sulfur dioxide, you have to study the reactions of um, maybe ammonia, boron trifluoride. So, we are talking about compounds, we are talking about molecules mind you. How and why a molecule combines with another molecule? What was the earlier question? How an atom combines with another atom? There the primary uh, need was to get the octet. Now, we have come to the secondary stage where a molecule combines with another molecule perhaps to get a better shape, better geometry. Sulphides which are pyramidal they want to become sulphates where they can enlarge their arena from pyramidal to tetrahedral they get uh, uh, bet, uh, lower repulsions. Therefore, all non-metals want to form as many bonds as possible. You will be surprised even PCL5, PCL5 with 10 electrons in its outermost shell, phosphorus has 5, when it combines with 5 chlorines, it has 10 electrons. Even PCL5 reacts with another Cl minus forming PCL6 minus, that is quite surprising. Why? Even after you have got 10 electrons, you are still uh, weighing for electrons, running for electron pairs, it is surprising. But the fact lies in PCL5 has a trigonal bipyramidal geometry whereas PCL6 minus is octahedral and octahedral geometry uh, atoms are arranged in a square base where a trigonal bipyramidal atoms are arranged in a triangular base. A triangular base where atoms are more crowded, atoms are crowded in PCL5, PCL6 minus atoms are a little relaxed. PCL5 in solid state exists as PCL4 plus and PCL6 minus. What does it tell us? The trigonal bipyramidal geometry is not liked by PCL5, therefore it wants to become PCL4 plus which is tetrahedral, PCL6 minus which is octahedral. Why does it happen in solid state only? For this to happen molecules should, two molecules of PCL5 should come close and only then that this will happen. So, all these things we study only as a part of groups, all these things. So, inorganic chemistry especially groups form a base for the rest of chemistry be it organic or be it physical and uh, like uh, out of 60 marks for intermediate you can easily expect 15 marks from groups. You will be asked the names of oxy acids what is pyrophosphoric acid. So, in our lectures you will study what pyro is we do not teach you pyrophosphoric acid we just teach you what pyro is. Pyro means acid plus acid minus H2. So, in our E lectures, uh, whenever you happen to go through them, what you will find is procedures, not just uh, data. Data could be there in any book, you can have data from any book. What we give is procedure, how to find anything. So, you will be asked about uh, number of pi bonds in pyrophosphoric acid. Questions like this appear at IPE level intermediate public examination, 15 marks out of 60, 25 percent weightage and you can easily expect 10 questions based purely on groups uh, at MSET level and same uh, what you call weightage is there for both IIT and AEEE, especially at IIT you cannot understand anything without the help of 
this. Between ammonia and water, you might have learned that ammonia is a stronger base. Why is ammonia a stronger base? Nitrogen has a lone pair. Oxygen also has got two lone pairs in water. In H2O, oxygen has got two lone pairs. Nitrogen has got only one lone pair. So, if ammonia donates that lone pair, it immediately gets a tetrahedral shape and it gets whatever it wants. But with water, water which has two lone pairs, even after donating one lone pair, there is still one more lone pair. So, oxygen atom is not eager to donate that lone pair. So, whereas nitrogen is more eager to donate and more eager to get tetrahedral, oxygen does not donate that with the same kind of enthusiasm as nitrogen does because even after donating one lone pair, there still is another lone pair. Therefore, what you study at IIT level especially where reasoning has a greater significance, everything should be explained only with reason, the basis, the reason, the modus operandi is decided only in inorganic chemistry especially groups. I, IIT, IEEE, all exams have that one third <coughs> weightage because you know inorganic, organic, physical three parts in any exam almost equal weightage is there to all the three parts. Therefore, it is almost 30 percent in any exam, the significance, the role of uh, groups of course, along with topics like metallurgy and uh, coordination complexes, but whatever happens in other topics, only groups you will study the basis. Okay. So, what I recommend whenever it is possible or whenever you have a chance to go across CAB TV, you do watch groups and you learn groups, uh, I can say with uh, 10 times more attaching 10 times more significance than to any other topic and it won't take very long. You can in double quick time you can learn the basics not there are not many basics in chemistry hardly you will find 50, 60 principles. Just learning 50, 60 principles you can look at the whole picture of chemistry and that is possible only through groups.